This is one of about 36 example programs available from the Cypress Semiconductor for the PSOC 6. Just plugged it in and it boots up into a menu that allows us to explore some of the uh, e-ink display features. And to do that, they're going to show uh, on the first one here, we can slide through the menus with the CapSense to demonstrate CapSense. We can select the first menu item, which is showing the PSOC 6 MCU features on eight pages of text. So we can scroll through those with the CapSense slider. Very smooth. And that's all eight. And we can go back to the menu, slide to the next one, look at the kit features. Again, it's one of seven pages of text. So this is the uh, PSOC 6 MCU, 150 megahertz ARM Cortex M4, and a 100 megahertz ARM Cortex M0, etc. And more pages. So a nicely formed text on a small display like this. And really easy to use here. We can certainly figure out how to do this given this example. And uh, just some more information on kit documentation. So it's just saying that there's a, a quick start guide, of course. And uh, there's four pages of descriptions of the kinds of documentation you can get. The kit guide, the release notes, and where to find more information here on their website. And let's go to the final one, which is the kit code examples. And this is describing some of the examples. This is the one we're running right now. CE 218133, E-Ink and CapSense. So, next one. And there's, like I said, there's over, over 36 of these on the website. So they can really explain how to do most of the things that you can do with this uh, fancy CPU here. which is a really good introduction and a really good head start on making your own application programs. Of course, another thing that they do is they provide some examples of using free RTOS, which I also want to explore. That's not even counted in the 36 code examples I was talking about. Well, that's a quick demonstration of their e-ink and CapSense code example.